difficult. Hello, and uh, thank you for joining us for the 38th episode of that show with Billy Wilson. Uh, tonight we have some great video content creators joining us, including uh, Fruitron and Kimmy Kim, both produce uh, vid uh, videos on YouTube for a web series called Hollywood is Hard and they're really funny episodes and I've watched all of them and they actually uploaded one today called I Like the Holidays which everyone should be watching <laughs> and we also have our special musical guest Isaac Littman who will be playing a few songs for us for the last 16 minutes of the hour and we also have Ronnie Bincer who uh, deals with video content marketing and he's going to be talking to us a bit about Google Plus and YouTube integration. And we also have Stephen Wasserman and Victor Solis. Yes uh, sir. Both of them uh, created the uh, Generic Girl comedy series which I've also watched all of your episodes and they're, they're really fun. It's like action comic-y like and uh, I, I believe that you guys are going to be like making more in the near year too. Am I heard? Uh, oh, yeah. Absolutely. It's, absolutely. it's in development, so now it's official. I guess we better keep writing. Yeah. I uh, just want to TV. stop procrastinating. Woo! <laughs> hello! It's Tibby. Tibby has a co star right here. I love that. You see the size of a, this animal. I'm either very large or you are a small man. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm actually a large man, but uh, from what I've heard, Futron likes to put him in the microwave. Yeah, it doesn't. But this cat can't fit in any microwave, did you, so... Did you do the... Uh, I know, it was so funny. The... Uh, how, yeah. how about a large, like, pizza oven? Sure. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> it is, a, it is a quite, a, quite a specimen. Wow. So, uh, you, can you tell us anything about uh, how, how your series is going to be going in uh, 2013? I guess uh, we're we're up first uh, before uh, our other series friends from yeah, Hollywood is hard. Yeah, I'm yeah, taking the question. Yeah, you're I'm taking the question. Um, well, it's been quite a ride, uh, beginning with the fact that we didn't know much about going into the online space as far as uh, series. And uh, over the course of really just a little bit over a year, that we mm. found out that there was such this rich tapestry of uh, people out there who were not just creating series and distributing them online, uh, whether they come from backgrounds as filmmakers like ourselves or you know actors making their own vehicles or uh, whatever their background is that uh, it's really changed and exploded quite a bit over the last you know 18 months. I, I think it's really exciting I mean the the sense of community online you know here at the Google Plus Hangouts and being able to you know, just talk to other content creators and just talk to other people just in the space. I mean, whether they be fans or just other people who you can learn things from, it's, it's really amazing. So definitely uh, we're developing uh, season two or season one for people who are new to Generic Girl is uh, 10 episodes, about 80 minutes long. And um, unlike uh, some of the other shows out there, like definitely when we chat with uh, uh, Kimmy Kim and, and Fruitron about Hollywood is Hard. It's a very different structure. Uh, as they have gone all over the place. Uh, ours was uh, mm -hmm. contained in a way serial set of episodes with our cliffhangers and you know tune in next time for episode two. Yeah, very, so we very designed retro. it. Yeah. yeah, it's you know what will they survive? Will they blow up? What will happen next? Tune in next time. <laughs> so since we designed it as a ten episodes, yeah, we'll definitely be structuring a second season of ten episodes. As oh we yeah, discuss. Yeah, yeah, and it'll so, be it'll be sillier, stranger. You know, kind of basically pick up where the last one ended. Yeah, you know, and hopefully get even more absurd. More Absurdity. Of a mystical box. <laughs> oh yes, yes. There is uh, for those who haven't seen uh, Generic Girl, the Deus Ex Machina is the mysterious talking box. Mysterious uh, talking accent. horny box. <laughs> ah! And here's Tibby again. He's, we he's we, we, we need to write a part in for Tibby. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do a virtual uh, screening session with Tibby. Ooh. So that's uh, currently what's up next as far as uh, 2013. There's other properties that we're also working on as far as other series, but um, yeah, season two is going to probably require a bit more uh, of a gestation period as far as writing and getting all the elements it, lined up. It's just basically getting our writer's room together so then we can, you know what, we need to actually do some painting again because right. since the whole show started painting my house, I think you need to come over and help me paint some more. More fumes. Exactly. To inhale. Fumes. Yeah. So we'll see about that. We'll paint something, and we'll write uh, at least the outline in the Bible, uh, hopefully within the next couple of months. Yeah. 
I'm watching all of, uh, your series, uh, Hollywood is Hard, and one thing that's surprising is just how much people like the wedgie videos. <laughs> 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 I just don't get why they like them that much. Like, do you have any you don't idea? Need, you have no idea why either. <laughs> um, I, I kind of have an idea why, because I was like, ugh, why is that? And it's because it's like a fetish thing. That's kind of like kind how of what people... I was thinking. Yeah, it's like people actually are into it, so they are specifically searching for that alone so that they can uh, pleasure themselves. Oh, boy. Yeah, if you, <laughs> if you look at wedgie videos in general, like ours are probably the most creative ones, but there are a lot of them out there that have, like, uh, you know, that have some views. Basically anything, like, that's girls giving girls wedgies has, like, 80,000 views. <laughs> Probably the okay, audience obviously is mostly is, uh, teenage boys or something. <laughs> wow. Any of them in slow motion? I don't know. No, I don't know. With cinnamon? <laughs> yeah, because then we've got to do the slow Even motion. The intro. Yes, uh, version. Exactly. I think we should do the cinnamon challenge, Kimmy Kim, and, and just have it, you eat it. <laughs> How about while you're having a wedgie in progress? Nothing right. happens. <laughs> but I, I will give credit that. Yeah, is bit. that. I don't know. Kimmy Kim. What? You, you, you just broke up a little wee bit when you were talking about the cinnamon challenge and whatever you said there, kind of. Oh, the sorry. Robot Wait. sounds. Robot sounds. Robot sounds. I, I, can hear you I don't know. Perfectly. I call it Martian. Well, right now you sound okay. It's the, Marsh, the Martian effect. Really? <laughs> I, I thought that was just a really cool impression of like a Cyberman or a Dalek or something. Fruitron's really good at impressions like that, so... Yeah, she also did... Uh, you guys did a video yeah. called uh, Fruitron is a Robot, too, right? Yeah, Fruitron is a Robot. Um, and, uh... Yeah. We, did. we only did one of those things, but we'll, prob we'll probably bring that back, too. We, we, we have a lot of things we might want to bring back, like how they met. Um, the oh, first yeah. one we met in the 90s. And uh, we have another story of how we met, and maybe like five other stories that <laughs> yeah that we of how we met. We'll just film them, and then everyone will be like, "Oh, wait a minute! I thought you guys met." Like, well, we can't really remember, so this is maybe just one version of how we met. Right. Yeah, <laughs> it's uh, one possibility in your alternative universe. It's kind of like Clue, except instead of exactly. alternate endings, we have alternate beginnings. Yes, exactly. We're just kind of taking it forward instead of taking it back. How you sense? met in the seventies? Oh. That would be funny if you do it like like a series like by decade. <laughs> you do like yeah. Yeah. Like decade themes and that. Yeah, we're like we're gonna have like the Civil War, and we're just you know, <laughs> we're, we're hunkering down in grenades. Like Jesus' and birth and everything. Exactly. And we're giving him with the, the nurse in the field that carried through Tron's uh, mutilated. Body, a shrapnel filled body out of the wreckage, and then they just yeah. ended up being roommates. And how she one day we met on the and she filled out the fake, the, the wrong profile, and we just met and decided to be roommates. Um, ah, yeah, that was... I, I think you, the, the audience is already hooked. So when you say we met in the 60s, they're just going to be surprised that it was the 1860s. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So now we got an inside uh, glimpse into what's coming up next. Well, I'll give them credit that even though you got one bazillion views from the Wedgie video, that you didn't stop there, and it didn't no. become just the Wedgie show. No. There's more to girl offer. Boyfriends. We yeah, I don't really like exactly. the girl boyfriend episodes. I, I, I like those. My personal favorite right now is Wieners, and that yeah. I don't know <laughs> why, just because yeah. it's... Yeah. We it's would love to have so Bobby and John do their whole show. Do their whole thing, their whole show. They should just yeah. Those... Bob and John. Hey, Billy. Maybe next time Bob and John can be on the show instead of Kim and Kim and Fruitron. Mm. <laughs> there you go. That sounds good. And Steve can come on too. Oh, Steve! I know. I'm so mad that I'm like in my office right now, not at the H I H house, because you guys yeah. are all lit really pretty, and Steve's not here, and he's usually with me or us, and we're yeah. all traveling because it's the holidays and. Well, and he also must be excited to now have hands. <laughs> yeah. He got hands for Christmas. Uh, I saw him at a garage sale, so. 
on. I have I have Steve's underwear here. I need to get I know he really needs those back. Yeah. Yeah. He's been That's there bad. for a while. Protection. Yeah. Um, does, he, does he really need them back? Or is that just uh you know, Fruitron oh, believes Steve, that he needs them back. Steve requested them back. Yeah, like it so he had these really nice uh bondage chain underwear that oh, I remember that. Yeah, and they look awesome okay. on him, but yeah, it's like they they somebody really wanted them to borrow them really badly and so we let lent them and they have yet to return. Mm, <laughs> now, don't worry about loaning out things like that to friends. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> I hope they clean it before they return it. Well, here they are. Look, here they are. I I had to do a little washing. <laughs> Wait, so which side does that go on? This is the front. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and this is the back. <laughs> and uh, your imaginations can go from there. Uh huh. Okay. I, w I would say Kimmy Kim demonstrate, but you. <laughs> I, you know, Tib hey, does Tibby want to try it on? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, Tibby uh, can object to some things. There we go. And I would object if I were Tibby. Look, well, Billy, this is the first time that I'm sure we're all seeing this on your show. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Doing it. <laughs> it seems like, uh, really, th to clean such an item, you'd have to go back to find out, in medieval times, how did they clean chain mail? <laughs> well, the question is, 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 that, is that actually, like, silver or stainless steel? Because, I no, mean, like, what, do we have to polish it? Hmm. This is hardcore steel right here. Yeah, uh, that, those yeah. things are heavy. Yeah, they're pretty heavy. They're they're for the bondage folks. Yep, Steve is one of those. So. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and that, gentlemen and ladies, is how you find an audience. <laughs> Steve has been a major part of that show. So now everybody is going to be eager to to watch. Yes. <laughs> yeah, for so. anybody that hasn't seen our show, Steve is our pink dummy. He lives with us, and uh, we got him pregnant. Yeah, yep. uh, <laughs> I slept with him, and somehow he had Kimmy Kim's baby. <laughs> That's what happens in our world. <laughs> That's my luck. <laughs> Happy Valentine's. Yeah, it doesn't look so good from a tax deduction standpoint either. No, man. What does it say about you know telling you know people who want to sleep with pink dummies using birth control? You got to be careful out there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't sleep with every dummy, even if it's a a, a pity bang. <laughs> especially, I mean, especially, because then you're it's a, that never ends uh, well. Yeah, not for anybody. It probably doesn't begin well either. Yeah. No, it's usually a lot of drinking and, uh, and coaxing. drunk dialing. Yeah, um, texting. Lots of having, having text. <laughs> Drexting. We have coined the new term. Yeah, don't get into Drexting with a dummy because it's not going to go. It's not going to go down too well. Well, one of these days, since uh, we're all here in LA, at least uh, the Hollywood is hard, uh, ladies and and the generic girl crew, we're going to have to do some kind of merging of of the minds, do some kind of brain meld, powerful collaboration of some kind. We'll see. We'll see. That may be so powerful that it may blow up YouTube, and we may have no control <laughs> over it at all. Like, let loose. Who knows what they may bring to the game? Who knows? But here's Tibby. <laughs> hey, Tibby. <laughs> Tibby's excited There's about blowing up YouTube. Cat. I just all I can think about is how big the microwave. Like my microwave is <laughs> so purring. small. Like it would have to like. <laughs> like yeah. Do you hear him praying? Yeah. Have you ever just put him on the oven? It's in the oven when it was off just to see if he'll fit? Uh, I don't really oh, want my cat stuff all He's through the so oven. No, it's not very sanitary. Ah, you, ah that thing. <laughs> and now Kimmy Kim has brought in a new companion. <laughs> it, it's the cutest I ugly dog ever. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, I, I think Tibby... I think Tibby could eat your dog. Yeah, I believe that. I believe Tibby can take and eat the poor little Poochie. Yeah. No, no, Tibby might eat more than I eat in a week. Tibby's going to eat you, Victor. Yep. We're using forced perspective here right now to make Victor look larger. Right. Yes. 
lean towards the end. But that, that's a mighty, <laughs> that's a mighty large animal. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This is almost like one part uh, Pee Wee's Playhouse. But that's the thing that we always loved about Hollywood is hard. Is that I mean, if you you want to talk about alternative universe, I I don't even know what physical laws govern that universe, uh, if there are any. Uh, you can grow no. a boyfriend, and he'll run through your wall and crash out into the street. Um, <laughs> and, you know, John, John Bobson and Bob Johnson uh, will... Will uh, pick up on ladies quite effectively. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. They're mm. good, man. They're yeah, good. I never knew Hooters was such a good place to go to <laughs> until then. And you can also snort oh, fruity pebbles. Ah, oh, oh, yes, 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 yes. Fruity pebbles. And that's, that's one of my favorite videos, the fruity pebbles snorting of the Fruity Pebbles video. And we don't really say much in that video either. That's why I think it might be my... <laughs> <laughs> We're not talking. Those are the best. See, it's kind of like the artist. There you go. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Visual storytelling. Do, do the next one in black and white. Ooh, yeah. With Fruity Pebbles. Yeah, the, the closest that we got was actually Wedgie. <laughs> the the grindhouse Oh yeah, this. Jan Sorry, my jan the janitors are here, so I have to put my garbage can outside. <laughs> the, weather, the wedgie of death. Yes. Mm. Yeah, we tried a different style with that grindhouse style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grindhousey. Yeah. It was quite gory. Yeah. Yeah. It was fun. I. So, it was. It made me feel really bad. Like whenever I feel bad for my own character, I know it's like there's it's, it's something substantial. It's a, yeah. <laughs> Oh, Brutron, oh, someone th finally thought she was pretty, and then she dies. Uh, <laughs> oh, sorry, I said that. that. That's the kind of pathos that you can all expect out there when you watch Hollywood is Hard. Uh, you know, it, it brings a tear to the eye. It, it, well, tears come out of various, you know, orifices. <laughs> but, uh, now, when did you both start doing the Hangouts? Because we have been talking about Hangouts, and we've been doing our Hangouts, but then you, you've had some uh, pretty wide-ranging things as far as getting people from all over the place. That's a fruit, that's a Fruitron uh, development. <laughs> yeah, well, um, you know, it's like people are out there, so why not? Um, I actually do them. My other Another friend of mine, another girlfriend of mine, came in when I was just trying it out, and she... She wa likes to get on, and uh, I usually tell her, like, okay, well, if we get on, we're just going to promote Hollywood is Hard, because that's really the only reason uh, I go on. But, uh, <laughs> but it's cool, because, you know, we last time we were on, we took uh, rock, paper, scissors and turned it into a drinking game, because it's easy to do this, because not everybody speaks English. So, yeah, right? Uh Although people do cheat in rock, paper, scissors. No. Like, yeah, it's worse than the Ouija board. But uh. Goodness yeah, gracious. Cool. So we get all these people together playing, and then like I just say like, hey, by the way, let's all watch Wieners, and so we're with, <laughs> Why we're not? with like a hundred and whatever people or whatever how many people can fit fifty one people, and now they're all like, oh man, this is the funniest thing ever. So that's pretty much why. I'd like to find out historically. You might be the first hangout host, drinking game, <laughs> Rochambeau, rock paper scissors competition in history. That'd yeah. be pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, we did the Fortran and I our first hangout, or what, when she introduced it to me, and I'm like, "What do I do? What do I? What? <laughs> Who are these people?" And a couple of times we saw just like close up of male male penis as opposed to female penis. And um, that was scary. But that's what Futron said. She's like, beware, you're going to see a lot of penis on here. And I'm like, oh. but what's weird is Billy came the other night. It was in our hangout the other night. <laughs> Not, and, uh, there, but, there's, no, there's no coming back off of that. It's, it's, it's out and it's official. It's no, no, sad. no. I mean, when he joined the, like, the last hangout, the drinking game hangout, no perverts came to. It was, like, cool. Like, people actually were having conversations and I was like wow what's weird is we're drinking this time and people just really want to hang out with each other and like talk about things so it's not always like if it was always no, like people uh, the first time I was there I actually knew a lot of people who were in that hangout that night <gasps> and that probably had something to do with it it was just a good quality group to happen to join you <laughs> yeah. as far as instead of like the uh, no people who take their stuff exposing. out in Hangouts, which actually Google's gotten better at controlling that lately because um, 
they they better detect and, and like listen to people report other people for doing that. So it's oh. under control more. So that's why you're gonna see less. Nice. Yeah. So Ooh. sorry, you're gonna see less. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. We're missing. Oh. You're gonna see less of it. It's an end of an era. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mind. The as times long are as they changing. Watch our show; they can yeah. do whatever they want. That's whatever. So, Fru, uh, have you been finding an international <laughs> audience as far as the Hangouts go? Yeah. Not me or her? <laughs> yeah, like the Hangouts are cool. Um, I'm not going to disclose. I know Victor and Steve and I. I was telling you a, a lot of how I all network, which is, is similarly, but I don't want to like blow. Uh, we signed a non-disclosure agreement. Yeah, okay. so we cannot uh, disclose any uh, stuff. I don't like, even know what you speak of. No, we never. Yeah, uh, like each time we we do something in internationally, like I'll go on and look at our statistical data, and it'll show. Melbourne, uh, India, Dubai, blah, and like, so yeah, it's definitely, it definitely helps a lot, and it's cool, because people like write, and they're like, thank you so much for what you do. And <laughs> it's like you're performing a service I'm using for videos, the citizens of the world. Your videos to learn English. Hey. No, it really is. <laughs> oh, like, sweet. And, and Billy Wilson, thank you, I don't know if you guys know, what, what? Why is everyone laughing? I don't get it. Um, anyway, the Facebook has been like block blocking the emails or private messages mm. from yeah. people. Anyway, I didn't know that, so I've been answering. Yeah, but now you get all these old ones. Okay, everybody's frozen. Uh, it's because you, you're freezing a little bit, but uh, we still hear you though. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. Next, next thing. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, I just found out uh, the other day because you sent me a message and I didn't see it for a few days because I, I ended up looking at my other inbox on Facebook and then I realized that there was like a whole pile of messages from two years that I had never seen. There's something going on in their messaging system where you have your one inbox and then there's the secret hidden inbox of people who are new to you yeah, and uh, I, I knew it. I don't know. It makes no sense. And apparently, you know, I posted about on G+, and a lot of people said that, you know, they had known about that for years, but the thing is that most people don't seem to know about that hidden inbox thing, which is mm. kind of crazy. Yeah, I, I heard back recently from a, a family friend going back, oh, my parents knew them from the uh, late 70s, and uh, before I was uh, around for very long, and uh, the gentleman had sent me a message via Facebook because he didn't have any other way of getting in touch with us, and uh, I didn't see it for a couple of months. Uh, so. <laughs> but here we are on the other platform, uh, that's a segue for Mr. Ronnie Bincer to talk yeah. to us about, hey, uh, <laughs> oh yeah, these that hey, one. Ronnie. Which way? YouTube and Google Plus and all these amazing things going on. Yeah, yeah I call uh, I call it GooTube Plus, where it's all mixing and mashing together, GooTube Plus. <laughs> it's it's GooTube. Oh, GooTube Plus, yeah. There's some pretty cool stuff coming up and coming out. In fact, um, we just recently have our videos that are on YouTube finally showing up inside Google Plus in the place called videos which is amazing <laughs> but sometimes it's called YouTube it just depends on whether you've refreshed or not recently ah, which so is it's kind of a buggy thing it's going back and forth but if you have connected things the way that Google wants you to meaning you're using your same name on Google Plus as you are in YouTube then it says okay you're playing by all the rules we want then we're gonna give you extra goodies and one of those is they show you the last nine of your videos that you've uploaded that are public. And mm. I'll just I'll do a real quick screen share to show what that looks like in case people haven't seen it. Yeah, so. I think it's pretty new to a lot of people. Uh, a lot of pe I like how the community for GooTube is laid out. That you can either be coming in from the uh, from the YouTube side, or you might be coming in from the Google Plus side. Yeah. YouTube, so what I've got right here is I'm looking at. There's your normal posts, and then if you slide over to the far right, you may have this hidden because you may have not known you needed it. But before, it used to say videos. Now it says YouTube. Mm -hmm. And it shows all of your publicly shared, or not all, but the last nine of your publicly shared <coughs> videos right here. Mm -hmm. if someone so that clicks means Hollywood on one, for Hard could be 
right there. Yeah. The latest videos. So if you click on one, it's going to take you right to the YouTube channel. So it's a way to connect things. And then also, you maybe you know this, but if you make a, re a video on YouTube, you can add what are called annotations. And those little mm -hmm. things can be clickable. So right, you right. can make it actually click from YouTube and go right back to Google+. So you can have this mm -hmm. nice circular you know, connection between your videos going to Google+, and then from your Google+, going right back to your videos. Yeah, our intern does all that stuff. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Why don't we have an intern yet? I thought we had gnomes. Oh, we had gnomes for a while, but or, they went on strike. Yeah, exactly, those damn gnomes. gnomes. I have Tibby. Tibby's <laughs> my, like... Tibby. But your, 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 in, your intern here. breathes on their own. It's not a blow-up intern. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's Steve, definitely. your intern... Is Steve the intern? Steve's no, Steve's intern. the president. Are you kidding? Yeah, Steve's oh. the president of Hollywood and <laughs> well, It's befitting a person named Steve. We both got screwed. Yeah, yeah man, we lost like. our own. We lost our own political debate to to our dummy, which <laughs> also happens in our world. You know, yeah. it's just too common in politics. You know? Yeah. Well, I would have been over substance. We were making a point, basically. Well, point, thank, point made. Ronnie, for sharing that. Well, sure. That uh. There's also some stuff coming up which hasn't hasn't made it through the pipe yet, but I sure mm. hope it will soon. And that's dealing with pages, because mm. when we're inside Google Plus, you're either a profile that means like a person, or your page, which is like a business. Yeah, they wouldn't let us be a page. They wouldn't let Hollywood is hard be a thing because it wasn't like a. Uh, yeah, a, a real person's name, so they right. they rejected our account and, and kicked us off. But you can but, make one. Um, well, now, but you can, you, yeah. I guess. So. Yeah. But anyways, the, the thing the page does not have right now is the ability to have its own YouTube channel. Right. So yeah. that's coming up. But uh, you can, like, do Hangouts on Air on uh, a page channel, but it'll just be, like, put onto the YouTube channel of the profile. That's right. attached to it. You gotta go through hoops and all kinds of interesting gyrations. I help, right. people, with that every, I help people with that all the time, and it's tricky. So yeah. in the future, we're expecting to be able to actually have a page have its own YouTube channel that's branded the same, connected, everything's the same, and then these Google goodies that we have as a profile could be applicable for a page, which would be really helpful for a lot of businesses. Yeah. yeah, yeah. For ourselves, we've had this discussion, and we've posted up, or at least I, I have posted up recently about uh, people who have very similar ideas that said, "Hey, it's great. I have my page, which is my business. It's my brand." Now, for us, it's there's a generic girl comedy series page, but uh, that page can't do much on its own, uh, and I primarily use myself when I'm talking to other people because I'm not the voice of generic girl, I'm just myself talking about filmmaking or talking about uh, promoting online and social media and things of that nature, but it will be great when the page actually is linked to our YouTube channel because we yeah. have a different account that is specifically for the YouTube channel. It's not his and it's not mine. It's its own separate right. account. Now the page does have more juice right now because the communities. The communities have mm -hmm. basically added, in my mind, power to the page. Mm -hmm. Which the page was pretty wimpy in my mind in the past. Right and now, yeah. the now the page can join in the conversation just as much as a real person inside a Google Plus community, which I think is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we learned, uh, I guess, the hard way, or as a lot of us have been learning about using the platform, using Google Plus, uh, and obviously we've been coming more from the YouTube side, saying, "Hmm, how does this work, and how can we get it to to help us?" Um, that uh, it, people have to click the plus one underneath the page logo in order for the page to uh, be able to post and share posts with those uh, folks. Um, so in a way, uh, well, you are trying to get that one-way road to go towards your page. Yeah. But now if I can go in as a page and go into the filmmaking community... Right, they actually need to circle. They need to add the, your page to their circles. Now, right. yeah, plus yeah. one is one way to do it, but they could just as easily inside a community, they can say, I like what the page is talking about, and they add it to their circles, and you're good to go. And then mm -hmm. you can have regular conversation with them outside of the community, which is... I like what that page is saying! Exactly. you got to get yeah. with that page. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's well, it's a common evolution. it's a common idea at least it should be a common idea for people to if you're in a community to invite 
your page in there as well, so you can go back and forth as a person and a page, and right. you as the person can promote the page, and the page can, can promote the person, and it all is a big happy family. R Ronnie, do you know if um, I, I can actually make uh, my own page the owner of the yep. community? Like if I my personal profile made the community, like I could yes. like give it. Okay. You can elevate yourself as a page to be the owner. In fact, you can have multiple owners. From what I understand, you can have as many owners as you want for as long as you want, which yeah. is interesting. Very that's nice. So, so yeah, that's a good tactic. Basically, you can build as a person if you have value you bring into people as a person and then invite your page in and eventually elevate your page to be the same level as the person and then the page can eventually take it over. And now your page sort of owns it and... Yeah you can get more traction. I actually started out as a dog. <laughs> Sweet. Well, I, I was going to say, you know, Kimmy Kim and Fru should definitely have a page for Steve. We right. Steve. And Steve can be in charge. Steve probably yeah. wants a page, yep. And Hollywood is her. That, that, that would be, I, I'd join your community first. <laughs> and Tibby would too. Tibby has his own page and he'll jump into oh, wow. your community as well. But I, li I literally started as a dog called the Video SEO Hound. Uh, Victor, the video SEO hound. So, Victor, I'm sure you could appreciate the name. Yeah. Um, I, I endorse this product. Yes. Yeah, he endorse, I endorse was, a page for Steve. Yeah. And it was, a, <laughs> it was a talking dog. And making those videos was a little bit tricky because of the amount of time it took to make the dog talk because it's a secret, but the dog doesn't really talk. Oh. So, um, but uh, eventually, I found out that my action, my activity on Google Plus when I was a profile as Ronnie Bincer seemed to have a lot more stuff going for it than the dog over on Video Leads Online. Mm. And so I pretty much let the page go away. It's still there, mm -hmm. but it just wasn't worth the time. But nowadays, I think it is getting to be worth the time because you can do, like we're saying, bring it back into the community thing and let it have its say there, which is mm -hmm. pretty cool. And it's then once they add the video, you know, once the video component, the YouTube component is connected so a page can have its own YouTube channel and it's all branded, then I think um, what has been missing in Google Plus for a long time for the small to medium-sized business is going to go like crazy. It'll be great. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, uh, Kimmy Kim could be uh, in a community interacting as an actress and talking about acting and talking about some things related to the industry, but then if she is now promoting some new episodes of Hollywood is Hard, she can come in as the page, right. and then the page is going to have its own following. So there's a way that she could keep, or for ourselves, we can keep our messages a little bit separate from that of the product or that of the show. Mm. Exactly. Yep. And you can do your promotion, promotional stuff in a place where people are accepting it because they already like Kimmy Kim. Yeah. And then when Kimmy Kim says, hey, this is the name of the show, go on over there and add it to your circles, now you've done it. You know, instead of just reaching out into nowhere where nobody knows you, yeah. you're in a community where you've already established yourself and then you can promote your page. Yeah. Right, right. I, I think that's definitely the the, this, the way that makes sense to, to us is because it's the social engagement with the person first. And uh, now fortunately with Hollywood is Hard, you know it's Hollywood is Hard for Kimmy Kim and Fruitron, so you know they are part of the the show. For us, I'm not generic girl. He's not generic girl. Um, so you don't look like a generic girl either. No, um, neither do you. So uh, yeah, as they get to know us, the people, then it's easier to start to get the the word about the actual page itself out there. So and okay, another now. bonus, another bonus with the community thing is that if your page owns the community or is one of the owners of the community, then it gets a little badge showing the name of the community in the page so if someone goes to visit your page and they're not sure what what communities it's part of it'll show right there you can jump right into the community from the page where you can't do that, doesn't do that on a profile so they've given oh. extra extra goodies to the page if it's an owner of a community interesting kind of nerdy kind of nerdy because it's new but it's, yeah. I, think it's <laughs> I think it's good stuff Sounds cool. And when you say the owner of a community, um, is that different from being a moderator of a community? Yeah, slightly. Um, I'm, I'm not, don't quote me on this, but I, I think you have to be an owner for that icon to show up versus okay. a, a moderator. But basically, the moderator can easily, the initial owner can easily add any other person. You start, turn them into a moderator, and then you can elevate them to the next level, which is owner. 
They, they have and, to go through two promotional steps. Yeah. But they huh. can stay there. And I verified that with the guy that runs this, Brian Glick. He's the manager behind the whole community thing. He verified with me and said, yeah, you can have, his, you can have multiple owners because, you know, mm -hmm. Steve and Victor might legitimately own generic girl, that kind of mm -hmm. thing. And so it's legit to have multiple owners. And I said, right. is, it, is it for a period of time? He said, no, as long as you want them to be multiple owners, you can do it. Right, right. Yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So it's something more that I have to add to my to-do list uh, for, <laughs> for, well, for get Google+. It, Plus, get, get that intern to do it, right? Yeah. Well, <laughs> we don't have interns, but maybe we can find, since we already went through gnomes, maybe uh, elves, elves or... Pixies. Ra reindeer, maybe. I don't know. This time of year, reindeer. Good bar, Tibby. <laughs> we may have to contract with Tibby to be our remote exactly. uh, uh, Canadian contact. T Tibby will be our social media guru. <laughs> yep. <laughs> He'll teach you how to be uh, free and lovable. So are you guys in any communities? Um, since you know, uh, Well, I'm one of the moderators in the, the YouTuber community, and I, I thank those guys for elevating me to moderator because uh, uh, my a pretty big one, isn't it? Isn't it, like, it, oh. it is exploded because, um, yes. well, they named it YouTuber, <laughs> but number two, the moderators were in the middle of their own uh, uh, busy schedules, and they weren't moderating, so it just it, the the floodgates opened, and everybody started coming from all around the world saying, "Watch my video, watch my video." So it started to become a, a bit of a spam fest. Uh, but now that they upgraded me to moderator, I decided to cut a swath of evil against spam through that community and just remove, spam, remove. Spam, uh, spam, look spam, at the spam, rules, spam, please. Spam, spam. As the spaminator has come. Oh yeah. yeah, my hangout on your community has uh, gotten a lot of spam, insane, weird spam, just like people saying hi. People just like to say hi, yeah. Yeah. and it, right. it, it kind of gets on my nerves, because like, when I first got uh, online, I was like, oh, hi, okay, hi, but then it's like, hi, 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 I'm from Malaysia, hi, <laughs> and it just <laughs> drives you insane eventually. Yeah. That's, that has definitely happened a bit with the Hangouts uh, community, uh, the Hangouts on Air community. Um, I'm a member of the, the filmmakers community, and then a few people that I know put together an indie web series community. But since they have it as private, um, it's quite small. Uh, so there is a power to making it public, uh, but then as you've found out that the power of making it public is that it's wide open, so you might get an influx of who knows who comes but in. But it's kind of a neat thing when it is small and it's private. You hit that start a hangout button and it's just everybody in the group, and there you are. You have a, a quick, easy way to meet everybody and or meet with everybody, and at any time you just hit the button and you can hang out. Yeah, somebody asked me that recently, and I think I sent the question towards somebody else who was uh, who would be a better person to to field the question. But they asked uh, if you do start a like a weekly hangout in in the community as a as a gathering place, and so, hey, that that sounds great. Um, a couple of people had said that, uh, and I guess Jaris, maybe Jaris J C Miller had mentioned that there was one hangout that dropped out when it was done from within the community, so it was rather new at, at that time. This is probably a week ago. Yeah, they went through a bit of an issue where the Hangouts were automatically going public by accident, uh, mm. but they've got that fixed. So now your Hangout is just within those that are part of the community, unless, here's the tip, unless you someone in the Hangout invites someone from the outside to come in, then they can come into the Hangout. Right, right, right. Okay, that makes right. sense. Yeah. Right, we're, yeah. making, we're taking a little poll. Here's the poll. If I'm in a private community, what do you guys think? Private community... I can hit the Hangout button. Only the people in that private community are invited by default, but mm -hmm. anybody still inside can invite anybody from the outside. Do you guys like mm -hmm. that or not like that? Um, yeah. I mean, in our, in our uh, experience with, with the Hangouts, because and like we've learned very recently, and thank you, Billy, which is a, a side note, that uh, you don't want to make it an on-air event or a Hangout event uh, because then it was just limited to the... Uh, uh, to the guests, uh, even though I had selected uh, the guests can invite anybody, um, I feel that if the guests understand that they have the power to invite, that's wonderful, and I would be leaving it in their hands to decide who 
whomever they feel is going to be a, a worthy participant. Um, so I would be pretty good with that because then you're opening up to the wisdom of the crowds, as it were, that, hey, if somebody has 12 friends that want to watch or somebody who can really add to the discussion, that's great. Bring them, bring them in. Well, we're, we're talking regular hangouts. These are not hangout on air. Oh, the regular hangouts. Okay, yeah. not not on air. Yeah, inside the community, it's limited to regular hangouts. They're not. I see. Air. I see. Okay, so within the community. So then the real the question. Yeah. I'll phrase it again. The question is okay. basically, if I'm in a private community mm. as opposed to a public, okay, private. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Invitation only. That kind of thing. Is it cool for those that are part of the community? to invite someone that's not in the community into the existing Hangout on Air where all the private people are hanging out. Then what makes it private if they're, uh, the if it's on the air? Yeah, I, It's not on air. Yeah. Sorry, if I, I may have it's misspoke. Private. It's private. Regular, private hangout. Oh. Regular hangout. Not broadcast. Nobody on the outside ever gets to see them. Ever. Yeah. These are wow. regular hangouts just to hang out. So the question is, if I've got it with my 12 buddies, is it cool for them to invite... Ten, five other people from outside that aren't part of my quote private community. Well, right? that's really like a up to you, like the individual, like the community, what the community decides. Like in okay. our case, like I'll I'll have any any random person doing whatever can add to ours because that's uh, more people that watch our stuff. But I mean, if you're right, going right. there just for the sake of being a part of a community, then join a a group that doesn't do that, like. Well, by default, it's available for anybody right now, and they're trying to figure out is that cool or not cool, and that's sort of the question. It seems like uh, if there was an option that you could select that no guests cannot invite anybody else, for example, if we had, say, a community that is of uh, within our business, and it's going to be 12 people uh, from different locations, and we're doing it as a, a legitimately a closed discussion because it's business-related, I wouldn't want anybody else to be coming yeah. in. Yeah, well, but I think people would generally like agree to that like before. I don't. It's yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I think you're right. It would normally be like an agreement, like yeah, open it up, or let's not open it up. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I think having the feature is great. Yeah. Uh, but I think just making it clear and accessible for people within the community to decide how they want to deal with it all together in terms of a setting. Uh, I think would probably be the best way because I mean I don't think you should just get rid of the functionality and the possibility there because I mean there are a lot of great opportunities that you might want certain people in your group it's like hey I met somebody really cool I just met I just met Kimmy Kim and I want to you know bring her in on this meeting that we're doing yeah. I mean you'd like to have an option you know an option of say it's open to more than just the private community or yeah. it's limited to just the private community let you choose yeah oh, yeah great. right definitely okay yeah. But just a heads up, it's open right now, meaning you've got a private community. There's all your secret stuff. Anybody in that community can invite anyone else in. Well, apparently, uh, I, I'm looking at our Facebooks. So a lot of our community is, is watching. So uh, I don't know. You can't tell from this how many people are watching, can you? But um, Billy, Billy can. Well, Billy, now you can see our, you guys, like our, our people will now learn about you guys. So, I mean... That's kind of why we're here. Hey, right. the Hollywood Design <laughs> community. Yeah, and this yeah. is the deal with the Hangout on Air. It's publicly viewable, and that's the deal. So, right. But this just distinction, the other one's not broadcast. So, um, so yeah, this is funny. Shouts out to Eric Win Eric Winchester Burson for watching. <laughs> Yay, Eric Woo! Winchester. Go, Eric. <laughs> and watch Generic. Oh, that, I give myself the shameless plug. <laughs> uh, so, Billy, are we going to be uh, uh, joining up with uh, Isaac here and, and featuring Isaac on uh, on music? Yes, we will. And I think uh, Fru uh, needs sleep, so, like, uh, you... I Want do because I'm at my office and it's really creepy here because people are like all downstairs and it's getting oh. dark. So I'm going to go, guys. Is that if that's cool? Well, yeah, yeah, of course. Of course. Bye. Yeah, it's yeah, totally it's lovely to, to meet all of you. And I'm sorry I'm going to miss the music, but I will uh, can replay it and watch it. Mm -hmm. Bye, guys. <laughs> Thank you for joining Bye. us for trying. Bye. Lee, run away. <laughs> okay, so we can uh, get to our musical guest portion and uh, and the hangout over to Isaac and uh, you're in uh, going to be in studio mode, right? Mm-hmm. Yep, okay. I'm switching to it now. And uh, everyone else in the hangout, remember to mute while he plays and to unmute to clap so it doesn't look like silent, like going like this. Cause it's okay. It's I'm not... used to silent clapping. <laughs> no.
so hi, uh, I'm Isaac Littman, and I'm uh, from uh, Cleveland, Ohio, and it's very cold here today. It's the first snow of, uh, of the winter, unfortunately, and I, I went out earlier and I said, I'm going to stay in this weekend, I think. <laughs> So this is a good opportunity for me to stay inside. Um, Kimmy Kim says she's going back to Ohio tomorrow. So hey, welcome, welcome back. <laughs> um, so I play uh, a mixture of kind of blues and folk and uh, jazz and and whatnot, uh, sort of play around in there. And uh, this is a song that I wrote a few years ago called "I Can't Believe." <laughs> Your shoes resting by the door Reminding me that you're still here And I can't believe Considering the way I look And I'm not an open book To you I can't believe I haven't figured out Why you are still around Loving me your scent still lingers on the bed Echoes of when you said Your love and I can't believe That any of this is the truth Even though I love you So much I can't believe I haven't figured out Why you are still around Loving me How could anybody be Enough to fill your needs Not me, I can't believe And maybe I'm just paranoid In fact, I think that may be true Cause every time I think how I love you I can't believe I can't believe But if this all ends up in tears Will I ever say Here's the one ever again And even if we can't be friends I know you'll be there in the end For me, I can't believe I never figured out why you still hung around loving me? Very cool, very cool. These silent clapping, some of it. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. Uh, this is a uh, little bit of a different song. This is called Willow Tree, um, and I, I still have a day job, unfortunately. Um, the goal is to not have a day job someday, but... Uh, <laughs> It may take a while, and uh, in our in one of our many busy seasons, uh, I wrote this song because I was just utterly exhausted, <laughs> and I uh, just wanted to go to sleep. So this is called Willow Tree. I want to sleep forever and have good dreams Rest my soul under a willow tree Sleep forever and have good dreams So I'm going to the land of imagination sun in the middle of a field with my hand on a gun lay a while under the midday sun and tell my sins to anyone listening yeah. I'm 
gonna walk for miles down this dirt road with a chip on my shoulder and a song in my throat. Walk for miles down this dirt road, think I missed my last chance to find a new one. Yeah. Ooh. I'm gonna sleep forever and have good dreams. Rest my soul under a willow tree Sleep forever and have good dreams So I'm going to the land of imagination Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, this, uh, this next one is um, a song I wrote within the last year and a half. Um, I took a little break. And then I started up writing again. It's always a nice, uh, nice feeling. So this is um, a song about not really knowing if the person that you're into is into you too, and wondering if you should go for it or not. This is called I Wish I Knew. Is this real or is it in my head? Do you feel it too, or have I misread? Seems risky to come out and say, this is what I want to know. Cause if I'm wrong, this can blow up in my face. But if I'm right, I don't have time to wait. Been a while since I felt anything In defense my heart it was broken It's difficult to find a way To let my feelings show Cause if I'm wrong this could blow up in my face But if I'm right, I don't have time to waste Oh, wish I knew for sure I wish I knew for sure I wish I knew for sure, for sure Have you been signaling my heart and mind? I'm sorry if I missed it all this time Couldn't imagine anyone could make me feel less alone can blow up in my face But if I'm right I don't have time to waste Oh, wish I knew For sure Wish I knew For sure I Wish I knew For sure For sure Oh, wish I knew 
wish I knew for sure. Wish I knew for sure, for sure. Was this real or was it in my head? Have I sung this song or left it unsaid? If I told you how I feel, then tell me what I want to know. All right. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh. Thank you very much. So <laughs> Thank I guess you. I, I have uh, time for one more here, and um, I'm going to play a sort of a crowd favorite, uh, uh, mostly in the area, but also apparently now across the internet. <laughs> All right. Uh, I um. Gangnam style. Gangnam <laughs> style. Yeah. No. Oh. I think that that was popular in. Uh... <laughs> That was popular in Korea first, wasn't it? Yeah, somewhere. Not not Cle Cleveland. I wouldn't call a trend-setting city all the time. I mean, maybe not for music. There are a lot of great musicians here, though. Um, yeah. But anyway, I have a, I have a balcony outside my apartment, and there's a lot of pigeons out there now and again, and um, I've caught them frequently um, performing the four Fs of survival. <laughs> And uh, it's kind of interesting. So this is called Birds on My Balcony. <laughs> I'll wake up in the morn, put the coffee on. Get dressed and go outside to feel the morning air. Look to my right, what do I see? Birds screwing on my balcony. So make me a voyeur if I watch too long Does so it make me sick if I like it Just a little bit Should I be supporting future generations of pigeons? Should I be tolerant of their love? Cause when I look outside All I can see Birds screwing on my balcony. Birds screwing on my balcony. All they do is distract me. I'm sitting here trying to play guitar. I'm keeping my mind far from pigeon sex. Working home in the afternoon, trying to have meetings on the phone. But all I can hear the screeches and coos, males fighting over you. Why don't you make up your mind instead of watching them fight? You can get it over with Get off my precipice Cause when I look outside I don't want to see 
Birds copulating like there's no tomorrow, and they need to repopulate a barren post-apocalyptic world, except they're fighting instead of loving? On my balcony. Birds fighting on my balcony. Oh, that girl is such a tease. Pretending that you never met, even though there's pictures of you on pigeonsex.net. This has been going on too long. I went out and got a grill today. And I think by the time this day is done, we'll be having pigeon souffle. Now when I look outside, all I can see is birds cooking on my balcony. Birds cooking on my balcony. Don't forget to turn the rotisserie and get some barbecue on there. But I hope that you don't care that I left all the feathers on. <laughs> Thanks very much. I appreciate it. No wonder it's uh, blowing up all over the internet. That's right. That's what I'm saying. Except for the pigeon advocacy groups. You know, they're it's like, tough. let them live in peace. They need to have kids so they can make more pigeons that can then populate other balconies. Ah, <laughs> spread the love. They're, they're taking over, I'm telling you. I've yeah. seen it. I see it on my car every day. <laughs> That's right. perfect song to end the show with. And right now we've come to a time where it's time to wrap up the show. And I'd like to thank all of you guys for joining me, all the people for watching. And next week is going to be a special episode. It's going to be a science special in honor of December, which Google's putting on to promote women in uh, technology, science, and education, and mathematics, and all of those types of areas. So it's going to be a pretty fun episode, and I'll see you guys next week so thank you for joining thanks for having thank you very us much.